In this video, we are going to explain the link reaction. Previously, we have seen glycolysis and we saw how a poor glucose molecule is split in half to give two pyruvate molecules. So now the question comes, what happens to the pyruvates? Well, that depends on the presence of oxygen. If oxygen is available, the pyruvate will be converted into acetyl-CoA. However, if there is no oxygen, then the pyruvate will be converted into lactate. Let's have a closer look at the lactate formation. Here, two molecules of hydrogens are added to the pyruvate and the three carbon pyruvate turns into the three carbon lactate. So where does it get this hydrogen form? Well, obviously from the NADH. And what is the name of this enzyme? The answer is obvious. A dehydrogenase. That is the lactate dehydrogenase. I know what you are thinking at this point. Why is it called the lactate dehydrogenase? Since hydrogens are being removed from the NADH and not from the lactate. Well, if you take a closer look, you will see that the reaction is actually reversible, which means that the lactate dehydrogenase can remove hydrogen from the lactate if it wants, and hence the name lactate dehydrogenase. This reaction usually occurs in the liver and is a part of the Cori cycle. We will discuss the Cori cycle in more details in another video. So now let us see what happens with oxygen. This time the 3 carbon pyruvate is converted into 2 carbon acetyl CoA or acetyl coenzyme A. This reaction takes part in several phases. First, the 3 carbon pyruvic acid releases carbon dioxide and thus become the 2 carbon acetate. Then a coenzyme A is added to the acetate to form a complex. Finally, the acetate complex loses a hydrogen which originally belonged to the pyruvate to form a molecule of NADH and most importantly a molecule of acetyl-CoA. The enzyme for this reaction is called pyruvate dehydrogenase complex since NADH is being produced and the hydrogen is actually being lost from the pyruvic acid. So where does all this occur? Well, it takes place near the inner membrane of the mitochondria, right around here. The enzyme pyruvate dehydrogenase complex are attached to the inner wall of the mitochondria. And this particular reaction, where pyruvate is converted to acetyl-CoA, is called the link reaction. I hope that clears all your confusions. Do let me know if you have any questions in the comment below. If you want me to cover any other topics, let me know that as well. Thank you.